Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Moleskine and today you guys can see I'm not on my account Shout out to my man Sean for letting me use his account I really do appreciate it when you guys tell me that you guys got something for me It really does mean a lot. I really appreciate it. Make sure you guys check out the link down below He's starting up his own YouTube channel So I would really mean a lot if you guys could check it out It really does mean a lot when you guys do that for me because without these people we wouldn't be able to get these content So why are we here today? What is going on? We got two new players in the Volts, this Tom, who I can't say his last name, and Lenny Wilkins. And the reason I'm on this account right now is because this man already got them both. So people been asking me, is Lenny Wilkins good? Is Tom good? What is going on? Now I have the opportunity to check out their stats in game as well as their jump shot, possibly take them into a game or two. So I'll put them side by side and do all that good stuff. But before this video begins, please make sure to subscribe if you're not already doing so. Turn on the noties I upload every single day. I already dropped, this is my third video of the day, but I might be dropping some more if you guys want more. If not, I'll wait till tomorrow. Let me know what's good with y'all. But for now, let's take a look at these two cards side by side. So, Lenny is a 6'1 point guard shooting guard. Tom is a 6'7 small forward power forward. We'll start with badges. They both got 44 Hall of Fame badges. 18 for Tom, 11 for Lenny in the gold section. We're going to take a look. They both got catch and shoot. They both can shoot for sure. What I'm going to start with actually is their stats, their attributes. So Lenny has a 95 3, 97 mid range, which is both fire. Draw fouls a 94. Tom's draw foul is only a 90. Not too bad if you know how to draw fouls. 96 mid range, 94 three ball. Sounds good to me. If you could shoot, you could shoot. 80 standing dunk, 85 driving dunk. Lenny has a 75 driving dunk at 6'1". Probably won't be dunking that much. They both can speed boost. They both have over an 86. Tom has an 87. And Lenny has a 96. So he's going to be a dribble head for sure. We're going to go look at the defense. You see interior defense. Tom is pretty solid. He's good defensively all throughout. 97 interior, 96 perimeter. That means he could chase any guard around. He's got a 90 block and a 90 steal, so he could do it all on the defensive ends. You got Lenny, who has a 97 steal, 95 perimeter. But when it comes to down low, 70 is not bad for 6'1", plus 74 block. Probably not that bad either. That's not bad at all. Rebounding, Tom for 6'7", can rebound, and Lenny cannot. Now, the speed, speed is really solid on this Lenny, man. The shorter you are, the faster you are. I feel it, man. His feet touch the ground a little quicker. I like that. I like that. Tom's got a 93 speed, 92 speed with both. And they both got solid lateral quickness, 96 and 98. Unrespectively, because usually you say that one first and then not. Badges, like I said, we see that they got catch and shoot. They both can shoot for sure. Range extender, you see it there. You got good defense throughout. They got clamps. They got intimidators. They got the lightning reflexes. All fall quick draw on Lenny I see it. I didn't see a quick draw here did I see a quick draw it's hard when you put them together yeah so he does have quick draw as well badges you usually should check out by themselves but usually if they have 44 that means they got pretty much everything you can see they pretty much had every Hall of Fame badge anything else is gold they do have seriously good stats though definitely definitely good stats to say the least so we'll be taking them both into freestyle now to take a look at their jump shots their hot zones and all that good stuff then we'll take them into triple threat and see what we could do all right so we're starting off with Lenny you see he has every hot zone there oh jump shot interesting definitely an interesting hitch to that let me turn off Vibration is on. I never play with vibration, so let me turn that off real quick. That's the first thing I got to do. So we're going to turn off vibration. We're going to turn off the shot meter as well. First shot went in. It was green. Definitely not a beautiful jump shot. Definitely one you got to get used to. It's definitely doable, though. You just got to get used to it a little bit. You got to, like, mess around with it. It is one of those shots, though, you got to be open. If you're not open, it's looking like they can definitely contest you. So I'm just going to take a couple more jumpers just to feel it out to understand it a little better i think i got it it's similar to rj's it just looks weird rj barrett the pink diamond like it just seems or feels a little different and the thing is we can't really say anything because we've never seen lenny wilkins play so we're gonna take him out and put in tom we'll take a look at his hot zones he's got everything but this spot right here so that's where we're starting off whoa that jumper different too they got interesting jump shots 2k has been giving us different players for sure the guys that we're not used to guys that if they put in packs no one would be happy about so it's kind of cool that they throw them in like offline instead of maybe online and stuff i know it's boring but this card could definitely shoot 
He definitely could shoot, definitely could defend. You could feel it right here. I know that's not his hot zone. I can't be shooting in places that ain't it. And I think I like this jumper a little better than the other one. And yeah, I think I'm ready. I think I'm locked and loaded. I think we're ready to see how these guys do in triple threat. And let's get into a game. All right, so I decided to use David Robinson because he's not going to steal the show from these guys. It's going to be their gameplay. They're going to do their thing. So let's get started. All right, here we go. So we got Lenny. Man, he's going off ball David Robinson. So I might have to actually like score with him. Now, I'm going to try not to. Bro, this is the second time he fouled me already. Game just started, bro. Lenny getting under their skin. And that's because of how fast he is. Boom! Let's get it, Tom. Tom in the building. All right, so this awful thing kind of working out in his favor. Let's take that Lenny. 6-1 Lenny over Miles Turner. I like that. We will probably score best in transition. I don't want to shoot with David, even though that's the easiest guy I could shoot with. But that's not David's gameplay, man. Tom, take over. Let's go, Lenny. Good take, man. So Tom just hit us a three. We back in this game, honestly. We right here. We out. I want to shoot, man. I really want to shoot with these cards. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. 10 points for this man, Tommy. Why would you cut, buddy? You had a wide open three, my man. No threes here, please. My boy David Robinson just gets us a block. Lenny all the way. I want to shoot that. That's game if I shoot that, but I don't want to shoot it because it's not his gameplay, bro. I should have shot that, man. I should have just ended the game when I had a chance. I just like, it's not his gameplay, so it messed me up. Let's try this again. This is going to be a hard matchup. But we, we got to play smarter. I'm going to let David score if he has to. Tom played really well that game. Lenny could have been a little better. He just starts us off with the steal. This camera angle, I'm not used to. But this is his camera angle. I didn't want to mess it up. I feel like any camera angle besides this one actually hurts my eyes. So we'll stick to this one for sure right now. Good take, Tommy. Lenny can steal the ball. He's really fast. This is what I'm getting, all right? This is my vibes after a game and a couple, a couple minutes. We've only really played a game. But yeah, so Lenny can... I don't know, man. Do we just... All right, David... I really like this David Robinson. I'm going to try to win games. So we got to do what we got to do. You're at such a big handicap if you're only allowed to use two players, bro. Look at Lenny, though. He can dunk. The issue is he really is small. Like, defensively, it's hard to contest shots when he's 6-1. It's hard for him to like, block shots at the rim. You're going to see Lonzo pretty much trying to run through me and doing all this stuff. It is also hard because I'm trying to on-ball. Bro, he really gets up, though. He really does get up. I really like that part of him. His jump shot, not my favorite, though. Definitely feel like there's so many good point guards. I wouldn't grind for Lenny personally, but this Tom at small forward, I feel like he's a beast. He really can defend pretty much any position. His stats are good. His badges are good. And then his jump shot is solid. He can attack the basket as well. Great rebounder. You're going to see Lenny right here. Great take, man. He's he's finishing, bro. Take this to the rim. Tom, my man, Tom. I can't say your last name, but let's get whoop. Tom, bro. This card is so cheese. I like this card. I would I would recommend this card. He's better than Kiki. He's better than some of the other free small forwards. I think he's better than Mark Aguirre. I think he's probably the best small forward we've gotten from like triple threat offline for sure. I'm going to shoot that because he's money. He is money. I like the jumper. I would highly recommend grinding for this if you don't really have a good team. Plus, if you're going for Dominique Wilkins, if you're not going for Dominique Wilkins, and you're not going for like the token amounts and all that other stuff on the triple threat offline. Probably not the best to go for some of these cards then. I don't want to win it with anyone but these cards. I guess I'll take another loss if I have to. But Lenny Wilkins for game. And I missed it. Yes, GG. We lost. All because I didn't want to shoot with David Robinson who could shoot lights out as well. And that's game. No, no, no. I jumped. Tom jumped. That means it's not going in, right, Tom? I want to win this with the Lenny Wilkins jumper, and that's what we're going to do. They're good cards, good free cards, to say the least. But triple threat offline is really boring. I understand that from the bottom of my heart. From someone that's been playing offline and online, I know the difference. I know how annoying it is. But if you can't play online because you lag or any of this other stuff, I do think these cards are really good. The issue for me is the vault doesn't even open that many times. It does sometimes. Sometimes you get unlucky and it opens a lot. But most of the times, if you do open it, it's one token. Sometimes you'll get lucky and get 10 tokens. Sometimes you used to get lucky and get 5,000 MT or 2,500 MT. They made that 1,000. They definitely downgraded that. The diamond consumable is better than any of the other packs they could have probably put in there. So I'll take that for sure. So good luck if you are playing. These are all available till June 24th. So two weeks. They always update it every two weeks. So once again, if you are grinding for some of the higher stuff in the boards, you get a lot of tokens on your way up. You guys can see it. You get 125 here, 125 here. You get some MT values at the top. You get a Galaxy Opal Dominique who's pretty solid. I'll show you guys that card soon. 
But other than that, if you're not really going for those, would you grind Tom or Lenny? Not really. The only way is if you're really like tired of online, you want to change it up. I recommend running two bad cards and one shooter. Run the two bad cards for matchup purposes on offline and the shooter to carry you throughout. I will be seeing you guys later though. Let me know what you guys think, what you guys are doing. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like, all that good stuff. Check out the link down below and I'll see you guys later. It's been your boy Mo's Ballin' and Ballin' out.